This was such a great find and that my neighbor did this because finding filler is the most expensive part now, of this remember, whole project. I'm doing this because I don't want to spend that much money on fill and you could just get fill from anywhere, your grass, your hay, sticks, and my neighbor had a great little thing. So luckily we raised chickens over here and I got their winter house over here and for the summertime I put them in here. We have all our grass clippings and a bunch of fertilizer that's again completely free. I'd have to say this is the least fun part of the whole thing is basically shoveling out chicken poop and all of their glass grass clippings and I probably should have been wearing a mask with uh, with all the stuff just flying up in the air. I definitely had to uh, blow my nose after this let me tell you. It was quite ridiculous. And then here I'm just using that next layer to fill it up. Now that we got that layer on of fertilizer basically from the chickens, the hay, the grass, all of that, I'm going to get the next layer from underneath it which is some dirt that's been cultivating for uh, two years and it's got a lot of good worms in it. Quiggly guys doing their job. It was a definite mistake to not dig out that plot of land underneath it before I started doing this whole project. And this is where you need to save the money because by the time I got six bags of soil, these plants, it cost me a hundred dollars. From everything that I've learned in gardening is that you need to have good soil. So I kind of didn't need to spend the money on this soil, but at the same time, I felt like let's give this the best chance it could possibly have and get it some really good soil. And what we got going on over here is some bell peppers, then some jalapenos, and then the third row is going to be some kale. And this is all for my wife because she really likes this stuff. But then the next one's rosemary for my steaks because rosemary is so amazing on steak. There you have it, this is my raised garden bed. I'm, you know, decently happy with it. I wish I did a lot more planning. I had to put this like line thing underneath because my kids went right underneath it. And frankly, I don't trust the way that I built it. Uh, so there were some definite supports that I should have made. I put under a lot of stuff. I actually banged in a bunch of supports underneath and it's still kind of bottomed out because there's a lot more weight in here than I realized and I wish I did a lot more planning. So don't follow my instructions, follow somebody who knows what they're doing.